everybody, Brian Maurer with Acme Tools. We were recently challenged from Milwaukee to take part of their Carbide Gauntlet Challenge. Stick around and we'll show you what we're going to do. For this challenge, we have the Milwaukee Carbide Big Hog bit um, into our uh, cordless drill. Now, typically this bit is going to be used by your electricians and your plumbers during rough-in. So what we've done is taken this uh, two by 10 and we've put in a whole strip of nails on the end and we're going to make a couple cuts on the end just to show the uh, uh, durability of the carbide teeth on the end of this bit. Now that we have the holes done with the big hog, we put in the hole dozer. This is a two inch carbide tip hole saw and we're gonna do the same test. For this next test, we've got the carbide tip axe sawzall blade. Um, we've got a lot of common building materials. We've got an asphalt shingle, a piece of laminate flooring, a piece of valley tin, and a two by 10 all sandwiched together. We'll cut through all those at once. We've installed four lag bolts into the uh, sandwich and we're gonna go through and cut through everything again, including the four lag bolts. For this next test, we have the carbide tooth torch blade, which is a metal cutting sawzall blade, into our sawzall, and we're gonna cut this three quarter inch thick spring. So now with a new torch blade installed, we're gonna go ahead and cut through this five horse electric motor. As you can see, we went through three torch blades. Um, we got through the housing of this motor. We got through some windings, through a little bit of the uh, armature and into the stator, um, but it's just too big of a job. Um, something like this, you shouldn't be cutting, cutting it in half anyway. So uh, we had fun doing this. We appreciate Milwaukee sending us the uh, carbide gauntlet challenge. So if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. And remember, always do your best work.